Hey guys, Container Crop Scaredy Cat Gardener here. I have two different types of bird netting, insect netting, pest netting, creature feature netting. Call it what you want, but to keep things off of especially your berries and things of that nature. I'm going to tell you which one I found to be the best and why. Show off your fantasy reality, whoa. That's yours, but I'll keep doing my Okay guys, we are back and before we get started, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, pop that bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another video. If you are subscribed, thank you so much for your loyal support. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys and don't forget for everybody, join my uh, Facebook group, Container Crops. I'd love to see you guys over there too. Now. I have two different types of bird netting and this one I hadn't even opened it until right now because I decided not to use it after I got it. As you can see the holes in here are really big so although it may protect your berries and things quite a bit the birds can get in here and get stuck. Okay, and that's something we don't want. One, we don't want to have to go in there and get them out. Come on, preacher feature, scared the cat gardener here. And second of all, we don't want to hurt the birds. So I'm gonna take you over and show you one that I've already done and why I've done it that way. So Okay guys, before we go over, I have a couple of the bags here and I just want to show them to you. I want you to see what they look like first before we go over. Now these, um, these actually look like my shorter ones, although these are very tall themselves. Let me sit this over here. If you can see this, let me back up some. You can see this is actually a bag and it has a drawstring closure here where you just pull this tighter, fasten it up like that, loosen it up. Now. If you can see how this mesh is, it's very fine. So the birds are not going to get inside of this if you put it on properly and close it. Now this was the one that I had. I don't remember the size, but I think this is, yeah, this is the smaller one that I have. And as you can see, it's going to cover quite a bit. Now I have some that are already over there and this one's not even opened yet. So we're just gonna open it up real quick. I wanna see you how, how, I want you to see how tall this one is. This one um, is quite tall and it would actually maybe fit for your tomato cages. It goes over those as well trying to get them untangled. I have two of these and four of the other ones, or three of the other ones. Compare them together. Now they almost look the same size, but they're not, if you can see how tall this one is. This one's really, really tall. Just so to compare the size, see the difference here in, in the size of it? No, you know what? I got that going the wrong way. They're almost the same size, but as you can see, they're a little bit different this much difference in the length of them. Hope you guys can see that, this much difference. So these are supposed to be for smaller ones, which I'm gonna put these on my berry ones, and I'm gonna put, I haven't had a problem with my tomatoes yet, so I'm not gonna cover them yet, just yet, but if I see anything at all, they're gonna get covered next. So it's good to have these around, and that's all you have to do. You don't have to worry about sun getting in there. The sunlight gets right in. You don't have to worry about watering them and taking it off. The water gets right in. But so far, my berries have been protected. So let's go on over so I can show you what I've already done. Okay guys, so this is my blueberries. And as you can see, they are already covered up. I've had them covered up for quite some time. This was one of my longer ones. So I'm gonna actually take this off right now and you can see how easy it is to get off of here 
It just has a, a simple little drawstring, and as you see, it fit around my entire pot. So I'm just pulling it up, as you can see, and it comes right off. It comes right off. And look at how tall this one is. This one's really, really tall. And as a matter of fact, it's so tall, I laid it across the top of my strawberries. Now, you see I've got some Irish Spring up there. I also put some mint up there because the squirrels seem to keep running across it. But since I put the Irish Spring and the peppermint oil on it, nothing. So I'm gonna look inside and see what we have in there as well. But let's go back over here to the blueberries. As you can see, I've got lots and lots and lots of blueberries on here. And some of them are even starting, some of them are even starting to turn where they're actually turning into the blue color. Lots of berries down there and nothing is picking at them or anything. And so I've got so many berries on here. I wanna protect them. This one over here, let's see. It only has one berry on it right now. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm getting ready to cover this one up and hopefully it's going to go ahead and bloom some more. So I'm gonna get my tripod so you guys can see how I actually cover them up. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do my smaller one first just because it's simply easier to get to. And as you can see, I'm gonna loosen up this end just by squeezing this. My red one didn't even have the little ball on it. It just simply tied. Make sure I got it wide open here and I'm just gonna simply put it over the pot. Have, these pots are like 13 and a half gallons so they're pretty big size pots with the wider part being at the top and you see how easy that was now I'm just gonna take this push it to the pot right here and push that up and then I'm gonna push it down now the big beauty of this is I have all this room left up here as this blueberry gets taller it'll fill up and it still has plenty of room as you can see you can see in it the sunlight gets in there the water gets in there i just fold that right down on top and leave it like that when i get ready to water now sometimes if i'm in a hurry i'll just go ahead and water it over there if i am not in a hurry then i will loosen that up raise it up and just stick my hose in there but you know um when it rains we get that good rain, it comes right on down in there. So I'm gonna do this other one right quick. This one is a little bit taller. So now this one is done, guys. All right, all right. And we can still get our water. As you can see, this one's taller, but I've also got it tied to the bottom of the pot so it can go all the way up to the top and raise up even more. I just laid one. I didn't open it up because it's not a round shape, but as you see, it's long enough to fit right over the top here. So I'm gonna see what we have going on in here. Oh, look guys. Oh my goodness. This is what the cover does. Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. This is what the cover does. It keeps you with strawberries coming in. Here is another one. Let me see, there you go. Look at the red strawberry. Look at the red strawberry down there. Oh my goodness, my sage is doing wonderful. See if I have any more over here. Oh my goodness, yes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at that, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Yes. So I'm just gonna cover it back up and I'm gonna put some more peppermint oil on here because it rained heavily yesterday. And I just want to make sure my peppermint oil is still out here, guys. So I'll just take the peppermint oil 
and shake it around the perimeter. That's all I do. And as you can see, my berries are growing wonderfully now. Okay guys, leave me some comments and tell me if you're using some type of bird netting and what type you're using and how it's working for you. I really do appreciate each and every one of you all. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me in my garden. Don't forget we have channel memberships. That link is right above if you'd like to join the Scaredy Cat crew. And until next time, remember, anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant. And I'll see you on the trail. You'll be living your good life. Catch a glimpse from the outside all the time.